This is all about being a peaceful, peaceable demonstration. Right, that's right. To go forth and to say that we are followers of our Lord Jesus Christ, who Amen. is a man of peace. Amen. And, and that we will stand there and we will intercede in prayer because we don't want our National Guard guys taking the brunt of everything going on. Right. They've come out of their homes and they've, and they've sacrificed their families, you know, environments to be there and defend us. So we're going to go there, and we're going to have thousands. I'm, I'm hearing 40,000 truckers coming from all over the country in Canada. Yes. Let's go! Holy God bless our truckers! So, folks, you know what? I've led Marines into combat. Cool. I've had the, the opportunity to be able to know what it's all about in combat and in peace. And this is what it's all about right here. The fact that you guys would get out of your comfort zones at home and come and join us for this it, it, it boggles my mind and it tells me everything that we did as marines it tells me everything we that our, our service members have done all over the world has been well worth it cool. this is the start of something big folks our team which is which is my buddy yg here yeah. Yeah. YG yeah. Storm. and this is a, this is an ecumen i want to get you give you all the parameters here real quick as best i can this is an ecumenical thing we don't care what you believe or what you don't believe, okay? What we do believe is in America. That's we believe right. the That's fact right. that this Constitution Amen. is inviolable. Amen. And we do believe that God Almighty gave that, we do, my buddy YG. I'm a Roman Catholic, okay? But I do, I used to lead the Christian coalition here in the local area. So yeah, I've got experience in those areas. And today is the beginning of something new we did first landing right here in virginia beach last april first landing 1607 that's where our founders first stepped foot on this continent and said dedicated this land to jesus christ and the gospel would go forth from this land amen this has come out of it this is flowed from it and our buddies in texas that robert ag donica hudson the other part of our team that did that are all waiting for us in Texas. Amen. And the fact that you would join us here today, I could, man, I could go through walls now for the fact that you have done what you've done for us in supporting this. We the people! Right Stand Amen. up, America! Now. All right, is, is everybody ready? We're going to go to God. Father God, we humbly come to your throne of grace and mercy. First saying thank you. Thank you for fellowship. But Father, right now you have told us these days were coming. You have told us in your word that these days were coming, of the dark days that will be coming. But you have built us for this moment. You have prepared your people for this moment. And the faithful are standing right now, Father. For we are want to obey you because it's hard to do your path sometimes, Father. And we want to ask that you bless every single man and woman here, every son, every daughter, every mom, every dad, every business owner that has been brave enough to stand for you, that has been threatened with being canceled, for every person that has lost their job for standing for the truth, for every person who has family members upset with them for standing for the truth. But right now we are bringing it back together. All of your children, Father, black, white, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic, everybody in between in all the communities. You told your disciples to go out to the people and we are going out to the people. And we are going to Texas to stand with the people yes, Lord, and to stand yes. for the country that you have blessed us all with. We know the country isn't perfect, but this is the greatest country that you have ever made. And we thank you for this privilege and opportunity to stand for you. And Father God, we also ask, Father, for everybody who has risked it all for your truth. All we want to hear is when we wake up in paradise is well done, good and faithful servant. Because obedience is greater than sacrifice. And we are obeying you right now when it is hard, when it hurts, when it takes sacrifice. But that is how this country became great. And that is how all of our communities have come together to enhance each other through you. So we are bringing it, the word to the people. And your word never returns void. There is no violence, but there is a revolution of evangelism to reach the young, to reach the old, to reach everybody who has felt lost and forgotten. 
Your country hasn't forgotten about you. Your God has not forgotten about you. And your brothers and sisters are right here with you. Amen. So we ask for anybody to join our convoy of peace and grace and mercy for us, Father. And we thank you. And I need for everybody to open your eyes right now. Look to your left and your right. This is your support system you, right here. So when it gets hard, these are the people that we lean on. Amen. Now, are we ready to go? Amen. Are we ready to go? Amen. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.